100 psi membrane squeeze. It does have gasketed filter plates on it to minimize the leaks. Air, air operated hydraulics. Do a four stainless steel manifold on it. We skid right there with the LED for doing a mechanical squeeze with, with uh, up to 100 psi of water pressure. This press is a mixed pack membrane. So this particular plate's a chamber plate. This plate's a membrane plate. The membrane plate has the inflatable bladder that will push out into each opposing chamber to, to squeeze the chamber. So it squeezes the cake from one side in each chamber. We use membrane plate. We use mixed pack membranes to control cost. If you if you try to do it with a full pack membrane, it would be just a ridiculous cost. The membrane plates are about four times the cost of a chamber plate. These are clink out plates from Germany. So what's this pipe down here for? This pipe is the squeeze header so that squeeze uh, skid that you took pictures of will pressurized water will enter this pipe. Each individual hose will connect to each membrane plate to do the to the inflation of the squeeze plate. So no water actually, no no um, filtrate nope. actually comes out that pipe. No filtrate comes out that pipe. No uh, no process solution should go through that pipe. It's it's purely for squeeze water. And you use water to squeeze, not compressed air. We like water because water tends to be safer than compressed air. Compressed air has a lot of stored up uh, stored energy. Up energy. But on a 100 PSI system, uh, a lot of people will use compressed air. There's all the squeeze connections for those houses. Mm -hmm. This is for your air blow down? This is for air blow down. We regulate it right there. This is this is uh, this is slurry in. So this slurry this slurry will enter the press through here. This press actually has core blow. So at the end of the cycle, you can open this valve, you close this valve and you open this valve. And you introduce air on the other side through the center of the plate and it will blow the wet core back to the slurry tank. This is a cake wash inlet, so you introduce your wash solution here, and it will cross flow to the upper corner and then out the corner here. And what was the press designed for? This press was specifically designed for uh, for uh, CBD oil extraction. You would uh, soak your uh, your ground hemp in ethanol and filter out the ground hemp in this filter press. Um, then the cake wash is designed to uh, wash out any remaining product left in the cake at the end of the filtration cycle. And then the membrane squeeze is, is included to uh, help improve uh, cake, cake dryness to maximize uh, product. 
How, how many pounds of hemp do you think you could put in this machine? Uh, this is about 40 cubic foot. 120 pounds? 1,200 pounds. Um, On a good day. I remember my ratios. 22 to 30 pounds per cubic foot? Yeah, I was going to say 22 pounds a cubic foot. 30 pounds on a good day if it's finely ground. Right. So 1,200 pounds? Half a ton? Yeah. Half a ton? And what's the cycle time? Every how much could you put half a ton in here? I would say every uh, two to three hours. So you, when you're... You can probably speed it up a little bit with the squeeze. Depends on, depends on how long you wash it. Mm -hmm. So when you're, when you're done washing... So wait, are you saying to wash it inside the press? No, right in the tank. You, wash, you, do, an, you, you do a cake wash. Oh, right, okay. Gotcha. So, so you, would, you would do your... You would do your uh, initial filtration. Then you'd follow it with a cake wash. Then you do your squeeze, and then you do your blow down. Mm -hmm. In a in a in a typical application where you are just doing a winterization and you're removing fats on a smaller press, say a ten or a twenty cubic foot press. What are your typical cycle times in, on, on, each, on each process? So you're gonna pre-coat, how long is that gonna take? Uh, pre-coat is, is, is about a half hour to mix the, to fill the, to fill the pre-coat tank, mix in the filter aid, and then we're looking for a 15 to 20 minute circulation time. Okay, and then your actual filtration can, will depend, but? Depend on, on the amount of solids in the, in the material. Um, I've seen it on winterized material anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. Okay, and an adequately sized press should be within that range. And so once the press is full, and then let's say, you know... Then the, the blowdown step is 5 to 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And the cake discharge is, is 15 minutes to a half hour, depending on the size of the filter press, how many plates mm -hmm. are in it. What about cleaning the press? After you discharge, how long does it take to clean one of these presses? And, and what's, what, what happens? What do you have to do when you're cleaning these presses out? Um, if you're going to reuse it immediately, there's, there's really no reason to do a cleaning step on it. If, you, if you're going to run a next batch right away, you can, uh, you can close her up and, and run the pre-coat and go, right, right, go at it right again. Uh, if it's going to sit long term, you can you can power wash the filter plates. You can solvent clean them with with uh, or clean in place with solvents. Um, you can clean in place with water. Um, some customers uh, not some customers in in industrial wastewater will use acids or caustics for cleaning peroxides.